Okay, good evening. Um, let's have a look. So, just checking out your work here. I found this on the on the card. This is the attachment. Um, clicked on it, <clears throat> and instantly, um, if I zoom out, it looks very professional. Look, looks really cool. Um, I like the layout and the contrast of the uh, the white text on the blue. However, when I get a bit closer, I can see that. This is some sort of, uh, you've got this from a template, um, this is like placement text, so this needs deleting, this needs deleting, this needs deleting, and it needs to be based on your learning aims. So what you have to do is create an infographic that demonstrates your understanding <clears throat> of both of these things, the uses of websites and the features of websites. So I can see if we scroll down, you've started to do that <coughs> here in the in this circle we have uh, a nice relevant Im image but that seems to be a graphics tablet um, I can see that there's images here so maybe this person is using uh, the graphics tablet to navigate a website it's not a typical um, not a typical representation of the, the way that you would use features on a website um, so here we, you've got live support, shopping experiences. I'm not sure if this is placement text or whether you've started here with this. Um, we need to add the features of a website. Um, looking at uses of a website, <clears throat> this is a pretty good image. I like it. It's got uh, you can clearly see there's a, a website there on on uh, a tablet. I think that might even be Trello. Yep, and then this is Trello on here. So uses of a website, it says the uses of a website can vary from service to service, but they are mainly used to convey and demonstrate information using a variety of methods. Great, what a great statement. That's really good, um, but we need some examples and you've got space to do that down here. Um, Amazon, good image, most iconic websites. Good to give an example of different websites here. So we've got Amazon, which perfected human computer interaction in terms of online shopping. Um, we discussed that in class, so maybe a bit more detail maybe an image down here of the actual shopping menu um, I can see you've got some we've got some social media icons down here they need to be deleted uh, got a little orange line here not sure what that's doing I think that's uh, to break up text or something and that's it so not much to review there but lots for you to do um, so we really need to <clears throat> focus on getting the features getting the uses um, and yeah, I'm going to leave that to you because I know that you're clever enough to uh, figure out what the features of a website are, what the uses of a website are. Um, one way that you could do that, <clears throat> you could go on, on Google. Features of a website. Here are 12 essential characteristics of a user-friendly website. It's the first thing that pops up. And it talks about mobile compatibility, accessibility, uh, accessible to all users, well-planned information architecture, well-formatted content that is easy to scan. That's another word for read quickly. Um, fast loading times, that's really important. Um, browser consistency. So um, have a read through this. There's a, there's a good, uh, good bit of information. Uh, effective navigation, good error handling, <coughs> valid markup and clean code contrasting color, color scheme, uh, usable forms. This is great. So all of this information talks about uh, features of a website. So what I'll do, I'll copy that link for you and I'll pop that here so you can use it. <clears throat> That'll help you, help you out with your research. Now uses of a website. Let's have a look if we can find something there. Uh, let's phrase it like a question. What can I, what can I use websites to do? Okay, so twelve popular types of websites that you can create. And we click on it and get rid of that. So it goes through it, e-commerce website, a little bit of text about what that is, then an image that demonstrates what an e-commerce website is, business website, description, image, uh, entertainment website, description, image, 
um, portfolio website, description, image, media website, description, image, brochure website, description, image. Um, Nonprofit website, same thing again, educational website, uh, infopreneur website, personal website, web portal, wiki or community forum website, and just a bit of blurb about what kind of website you're going to create because they want to sell you this product. Um, so yeah, lots of good information there as well. <coughs> so I will paste that there for you so you can use that. So yeah, you've still got lots of work to do. Um, I remember you said that you were finished um, in class today and then I gave you another task to do which was to start using JavaScript on Code Academy. Um, but I'm hoping that you have another version of this that is finished, um, but you just haven't uploaded it. Um, if you do, get it uploaded as soon as you can, and then I'll give you feedback in person tomorrow in class. Um, so yeah, good luck. That's, that's awesome. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Bye.